Hi friends, welcome back to Andrew Bucket Cook's Kitchen. Do I have a recipe for you today? You guys are gonna love this. Monday mornings can be hard, let's face it, but I'm gonna make them a whole lot tastier with these bacon and egg muffins. There's a whole hard cooked egg right in the center of this muffin. We've got bacon, we've got cheese. I mean, what is not to love, right? You've got all these good things in one muffin. Some of my top rules for getting the best cooked eggs is to start with an egg that's a little bit older, okay? You want to have an egg that's been in your fridge for about a week, and then when you go to cook them, you're going to put them in water that's already boiling. Submerge them in that boiling water, and for this recipe, you want to do a six-minute egg. So now we're going to talk bacon. Like, bacon is probably one of my favorite things to eat, and I'm going to show you a really great way to cook it. So cleanup is really easy. It cooks nice and evenly. Super easy way, you're gonna line a baking sheet with some parchment paper, and then you're just gonna go ahead and lay your bacon on the sheet. Now, pick whatever bacon you like. Personally, I love a thick cut bacon. Especially for this recipe, you're gonna get those beautiful bacon bits right inside that muffin. There's lots of bacon in this recipe, guys. In fact, I think I put like an extra slice or two in here just so I could eat it before it went into the muffin. Okay, so this is gonna go into the oven at 375 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes, depending on your oven. Just make sure you keep an eye on it, and when you pull it out, you're gonna put it on some paper towel, and then we're gonna cut it up. So what you're looking from your bacon is for it to be nice and crispy, because you're gonna cut it up into nice little bacon bits here. Just give it a real rough chop. You could do it by hand, but I find the knife goes through it a little bit easier. Always got a little bit of bacon, a little bacon. All right, next we're gonna chop up some chives. Oh. If you don't have chives, you can certainly add some green onions. But I like chives because they add a nice herbaceous quality. <laughs> then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grate some cheddar cheese. Now this isn't just any cheddar cheese, although you could use whatever you have in your fridge. For this recipe, I prefer to use a habanero cheddar cheese. And for this, you're gonna use about a cup of this habanero cheddar. Right down, make sure you don't get your uh, fingernails in the grater. Our chopped ingredients right in the bowl here. The chives, the bacon, the cheese. I mean, just that and a spoon. Cup of coffee, that looks like breakfast too. Okay, now it's time to assemble these bad boys. It's really easy from this point here on in. We're gonna take one egg and give it a crack. Put it right in our bowl. Then we're gonna go in with a cup of milk. You can use any milk you have. I like 2%, that's what I usually keep in my fridge. We're gonna put two tablespoons of granulated sugar in here. And it's not gonna make the muffin sweet, but it's just gonna play really nicely against all the salt of the cheese and the bacon. That sugar is essential here. And then we're gonna go in, of course, we have to gild the lily. We're gonna put a little bit of melted butter in here. Look at that. Now don't ask me if you can substitute oil for this because this butter or this muffin is all about decadence. Give that a quick whisk just to combine everything. We're also going to add a little bit of hot sauce because I think just that little bit of tang and heat adds a really nice flavor to these muffins. So use whatever hot sauce you like. I like one that has a little bit more of a vinegary kick to it and a little bit more of a milder heat. So choose your favorite hot sauce for this. We're gonna put some flour right in there. Just some all-purpose flour works for this. Next, we're gonna put in a tablespoon of baking powder. Uh, we like to have fun in the kitchen, don't we? I think we do. A Little bit of salt. Now, not a lot of salt here, because as I said, bacon's already salty, cheese is already salty. All right, so we're just gonna use our wooden spoon to sort of get all those ingredients worked in together. It's a simple batter. And of course, once you make this once, you can put whatever you like in here. If you like chopped up black forest ham, you can put it in there. Breakfast sausage that's been cooked would be great in here. Okay, now we're gonna put in all those yummy ingredients, all those little bits of bacon, chives, and habanero cheddar. Yum! Lord, this is a reason to wake up during the week, guys, I'm telling you. But you do wanna make sure that all those ingredients are worked all the way through the batter. Okay, so for this recipe, it's really important that you have a jumbo muffin tin. So really important for these, you're going to want to spray the pan so it makes popping these bad boys out a lot easier. So just a little bit of vegetable spray. You know. 
That's a cook's trick right there, guys. Keeps you fresh. So we're just gonna take a little bit, and because we wanna put a egg in there, we're just gonna put about two scoops of the batter into each muffin tin. See how easy this thing is? And now is where the magic happens, all right? So we're gonna take those hard-cooked eggs that we made, and we're gonna just nestle them right inside that batter. So you wanna make sure that they're standing up. Oh my God, can you imagine cutting into one of these? Your friends are gonna be so jealous. All right, then we're gonna go back and top it with more batter. So you wanna make sure that the batter makes its way around that egg so the egg is right in the center when you cut into it. So once all the batter's there, if you see this egg is sort of peeking its head out the top, that's okay, it's not gonna make a big difference. But what you do wanna do is take your pan and just lightly knock it on the counter a few times so those muffins will cook evenly all the way through. Next up, we're gonna put those in a 450 degree oven for about 15 to 18 minutes. Here they go. Here they are, guys, out of the oven, nice and hot. I'm gonna show you what they look like inside because this is gonna blow your mind, okay? I'm gonna pop one out here and we're gonna slice into it. Oh Lord, these are delicious. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yeah. The most delicious, the most impressive breakfast muffin that you will ever make. For the full recipe, visit andrewbucket.com and don't forget to visit me on Facebook and Instagram. Bye guys. <laughs> Andrew Bucket muffins take one. Muffins. Take one. Take one. Take two. Take two, <laughs> take two muffins. Yeah. And